Today we are ranking over 30 of the most popular add-ons in WoW PvP, including those which actually win you games, that should be included in every UI in the War Within, and others which you should probably stay away from. At the end, we will give one award to the best of the best and demote another to the absolute worst. We will start with the most controversial add-on of all time, Weak Auras. Bet you didn't see this coming. Over the years, people have tried to get this add-on banned in World of Warcraft, despite the fact that the lead game director of WoW has said this probably won't happen. Weak Auras is so controversial because it's honestly OP and checks almost every single box for what makes an S-tier add-on. What we're looking for in today's rankings are add-ons that allow you to track hidden information or amplify details on your screen that are harder to see, while also adding a functional improvement to gameplay. And as a bonus, we're looking for add-ons that are highly customizable and ideally relatively easy to use right out of the box. And this last point is where weak auras might actually fall a bit short. Since the first time you install it, you have to spend some time setting everything up. If you were to start completely from scratch, this could even take an entire day or more. But with the skill cap to add on, the click of a single button will give you a complete UI package with every add on and weak aura you could ever need in WoW PvP. So instead of wasting hours of your time, head over to skillcap.com using the links below and get the best PvP UI in a matter of seconds. Once you're in game, all you need to do is select exactly what profiles you want us to automatically configure. Then, if you're a Skillcap member, after installing the free profiles, you can type slash SC, and then click the drop down on the left to enter the import window to install extra profiles for better Blizz plates, Omnibar, and Omni CD. You can find your import code on our website by clicking on the add-ons tab, and then generating the code to paste in game. Website members will also get access to all of the exciting new content we've been uploading. We created the world's best damage and healer courses because we made them with the world's best players. That promises you can get ahead and stay ahead with gladiator level game knowledge and a highly optimized UI. As always, we continue to offer a rank up guarantee. If you don't gain at least 400 rating while using skill capped, you don't pay. So visit the exclusive discount links below to get started today with brand new guides and the best PVP UI. For now, back to the video. Anyone who has played WoW for the past few years already knows that Weak Auras is borderline required for competitive play. It's basically like an add-on within an add-on, and there isn't much Weak Auras can't do. In PvP, it is mostly used to track buffs, procs, and cooldowns, both on yourself and from enemy players. It really is an all-in-one solution. In fact, people have built entire UIs with Weak Auras. Not something we would really recommend, but hey, good for them. So, despite the fact that Weak Auras isn't the easiest to use out of the box, it is so stupidly powerful that it has to go in the S tier. Gladiator Losa, on the other hand, is a bit more limited in functionality, but can be pseudo-replacement for Weak Auras, since it offers spell alerts combined with audio cues. Polly. Polly. And before you write it off as a noob add-on, just know that BlizzCon competitors like Blizzo here actually regularly use it. We know from research that audio reaction speed will beat out visual reaction times for most people. In fact, if we had to guess, Gladiator Losa is probably the inspiration for Mez's Weak Auras package, which is known for having tons of audio cues. The main problem is that straight out of the box, the add-on can seem a bit spammy if you don't spend the time filtering out a bunch of spells. But if you can be selective on what you track, it's actually not that bad. This might be a hot take, but because Gladiator Losa can be an easy to use Weak Auras replacement, it will be going in the A tier. And while we're on the topic, you might have heard about Tell Me When, which is yet another potential Weak Auras replacement. Unfortunately, unlike Gladiator Losa, which simply has you uncheck a few boxes to be functional, Tell Me When has a much longer setup process, while not nearly having as much popularity and support as compared to Weak Auras. Because of this, it will be the lowest ranking Weak Auras replacement. Our next set of add-ons all center around nameplates, and there's honestly several options to choose from. But you have to be careful, because while nameplate add-ons can be helpful, they have the chance to create a lot of clutter if you don't set them up properly. Right now, the PvP standard is better Blizz plates, which we configured as one of our premium profiles specifically to reduce clutter and increase awareness. There's a lot of players who enjoy Plater too, which is the standard for PvE, since it has a lot of mods which are useful for raids and mythic dungeons. Regardless though, nameplate add-ons have the potential to be really strong, especially when you filter out certain debuffs or split up information into different rows. For many players though, the standard Blizzard nameplates are totally fine, and they've only gotten better over the years. But since nameplate add-ons like better Blizz plates can add more visual clarity and improve gameplay overall, they will be going in the A tier. With that said, the popular nameplate cooldowns add-on might seem good on paper, but it suffers one massive flaw. 
If you remember, one of our criteria for a great add-on is that it gives you information that is impossible to track on your own, which this add-on certainly does. Well, until the enemy player is no longer visible on your screen. This is why, for enemy cooldown tracking, Omnibar is universally a better solution. Not only is the information visible on your screen at all times, but if you take it a step further and use a custom profile like our own, you can even split it up into different bars. This makes Omnibar the most practical solution for tracking enemy cooldowns, since you can be very selective on not only what you track, but where it appears on your screen. Omnibar is also one of the few add-ons which can actually help you win games. By knowing who has defensives on the enemy team, you can spot win conditions easier as a DPS. And as a healer, seeing when enemy cooldowns are coming back up allows you to pre-plan a cooldown trade well in advance. So as one of the most powerful game-winning add-ons, Omnibar will be going in the S tier. And even though nameplate cooldowns can track the same information, its fatal flaw is enough to bump it down a few tiers lower. Just for some PvP history, Omnibar was actually a clone of Interrupt Bar, the add-on made most famous by its developer, Collective. If you know who that is, congratulations on being a boomer. You're just like us. And you might be wondering about some of the good old add-ons from the past. One of those is Doom Cooldown Pulse, which is actually a lot more useful than many players think. All this add-on does is simply flash the icon of any spell that just came off CD, making it really strong for specs that should be using certain abilities on cooldown. Another relic of the past is Omni CC, which is so unbelievably simple. It allows you to configure the ability cooldown text and even change colors based on the remaining time. These add-ons are kind of like having a small kitchen gadget. You really don't need them, but they can make your life a little easier. Which is honestly true with so many of the old school add-ons. Back in the day, we didn't have thousands of weak auras, we just had a few small add-ons running on our Dell Dimension 3000. Scrolling combat text add-ons also fall into the boomer category. And I personally have a soft spot for mixed scrolling battle text, which I only recently stopped using. Out of the box, it looks really silly, and I don't know who made the decision to use this as the default font. The problem with any combat text add-on is that there is once again a high potential for screen clutter, so you really need to be careful. But when set up properly, an add-on like mixed scrolling battle text can be useful, since it allows you to set triggers for spell alerts like a discount version of weak auras. Quartz is our final boomer add-on, which once again is still being used by a lot of players. It technically can be helpful since it allows you to see when a cast can be clipped early because of latency, and if you play any spec with channeled spells, it makes it easier to see each tick. But for 90% of players, you don't really need Quartz since the Blizzard UI is pretty much all you need. So as much as we have some nostalgia for them, we're going to be putting all of these boomer add-ons in the C tier since they don't really have a high impact in this day and age. But the next five add-ons can actually have a huge impact on the way you play. First up is Big Debuffs, which is arguably one of the most underrated add-ons of all time. It makes it much easier to see crowd control effects or other important debuffs on your target and focus frames. And it even makes CC debuffs bigger on raid frames, which as a healer is super important since it means you can dispel faster and overall just have a better feel for what's happening to your team. This information is really important for DPS too, especially if you have a lot of utility, since it makes it easier to notice when your healer is stuck in CC. Regardless of whether you're a new player or consider yourself advanced, big debuffs should definitely be included in your UI. Buff Overlay, on the other hand, is a relatively newer add-on to enter the PvP scene. It is incredibly lightweight, and just like big debuffs, it adds visual clarity to raid frames, but this time by having important buffs highlighted in the center of raid frames. As a healer, this is super useful, especially in solo shuffle, where it can be hard to notice when your teammates have a defensive active, and overall this will reduce the chance of overlapping. While Buff Overlay is a single task add-on, it can massively affect gameplay, which is why we're putting it in the B tier. Omni Auras combines the benefits of big debuffs and buff overlay into one complete package. There's a convenience factor here since it means less add-ons to manage. For that reason alone, it will be going in the S tier. The next super high impact add-on is Omni CD. This is yet another somewhat recent adaptation into PvP UIs, adding party cooldown tracking directly onto raid frames. Initially, this information might seem overwhelming, but it has massive potential to influence the way you play, especially in solo shuffle. While DPS definitely see benefits from this add-on, healers shouldn't play without it, since you spend most of your time looking at raid frames anyway, and with a quick glance you can also take inventory of everyone's cooldowns. For an advanced player, this is definitely an S tier add-on, but beginner players might not see immediate benefits, so we will be bumping it down to the A tier. 
We couldn't make a PvP add-ons video without briefly talking about Diminish. This is another add-on that scales in impact with the more experience you gain, since it allows you to see DRs on more than just arena frames, even allowing you to see your own DRs. As an advanced player, you can actually use this information to make much smarter decisions, like whether it's time to play aggressive or pull back and play D. But since this information can be overwhelming for the majority of players, Diminish will be bumped down slightly to the B tier. Next up, we're going to cover the most fundamental part of every UI, unit frames. The size and positioning of each individual frame on your screen can have a huge impact on your awareness and even the way you play. For us, having symmetry is very important, which is why the skill capped UI keeps everything open and balanced. But ultimately, where you place your frames is a matter of preference. As long as you have a good view of the arena, you're mostly on the right track. But do you know what almost every rank 1 UI has in common? Blizzard default frames. Going back to our tier list, several high tier add-ons depend on Blizzard raid frames in order to work. Scaling up the size of raid frames and keeping them in neat little rectangles is all you really need to do. One of the only extra add-ons you might need is frame sort. All it does is position your frames at the bottom no matter what, which is actually quite helpful if you use any party 1-2 macros since you will have an easier time figuring out who is who. Again, we have another lightweight single task add-on that can affect gameplay, so frame sort will be going in the B tier. And if you want to improve the look and functionality of the Blizzard frames, we highly suggest Better Blizz frames. This add-on truly lives up to its name, adding a ton of functionality and aesthetic customization to Blizzard's UI. One of the best features is the ability to whitelist and blacklist different auras, which is something we plan to include in a future update to our add-on, since right now there are simply way too many buffs and debuffs that clutter the target and focus frame. If instead you want to retain that classic look from older expansions, Jack's Classic Frames is a good pick too. Anyway, because Better Blizz Frames provides multiple quality of life changes to your UI, it will be going in the B tier. Moving on, every expansion there seems to be an influx of new players coming into PvP from other parts of the game, and if that player is you, there are some popular PvE add-ons that you should avoid. For years, Elv UI has been a staple of the PvE community, and it seems like no matter which Mythic Plus streamer you click on, they're all using some version of Elv or some other minimalist package. While these do have their place in the game, they're entirely built for one type of content, and you might find it difficult adopting other add-ons on this list if you're already using one of these complete UI packages. So any PvE UI package will automatically go in the D tier. As far as individual PvE add-ons are concerned, there are still some more you should stay away from. Grid has historically been quite popular in PvE, but can negatively affect gameplay in PvP, since there are usually way more debuffs to track in Arena and BG environments. These add-ons are better suited for large-scale raids than 3v3 arena. So because they aren't really needed and can even make you play worse in PvP, any raid frame add-on will be going in the D tier. Healbot and Click are also quite popular, and we don't really recommend using either of those for arena. There are simply too many non-healing buttons you need to press on friendly players in PvP, and being limited to a few mouse binds can make these add-ons feel very restrictive. On top of this, it is ideal to use target keybinds in PvP, since they are generally faster than clicking frames once you get the muscle memory. Once again, the default raid frames are just way more optimal, which is why Healbot and Click will be going in the D tier too. The default arena frames, on the other hand, are definitely less optimal compared to their add-on alternatives. While there are a few to choose from, we definitely prefer Gladius. Now, we know there are a lot of S Arena fans out there, but nothing truly compares to the customizability of Gladius or even Gladius X. While Blizzard's Arena frames have definitely gotten better over the years, Gladius absolutely cooks them, with diminishing returns tracking, more visual clarity on cast bars, better size and scaling options, and so much more. You can even configure Gladius to show target of target for enemy Arena frames, which is super useful as a healer. If you play Arena, we highly recommend Gladius, Gladius X, or even S Arena. These are add-ons you don't want to play without. If you do any Battlegrounds, including the new BG Blitz, you don't want to skip out on Battleground enemies. This is essentially the Gladius of BGs, allowing you to see enemy health bars, trinkets, and target any player from anywhere on the map. And while we're on topic, we highly recommend playing with the popular capping add-on. It simply adds timers for flag captures, node turnovers, cart timings, and so on. This is all vital information that you really can't track on your own and truly allows you to win games. If you plan to play any BGs at all this expansion, you definitely should include these two in your interface. By the way, if you'd like us to start making BG content, let us know with a comment down below with exactly what you'd like to see. And be sure to stay subscribed so you can be notified of any future BG videos.
Anyway, the next three add-ons don't have an immediate impact on combat, but are useful enough to be included in every UI. First up is Details, which is an add-on that 90% of players don't actually use to its fullest potential. Most players will simply use Details to flex their damage or healing, or to simply pull up a death log and rage at the fact that they died 100 to 0 in 0 0.5 seconds. The remaining 10% of players actually use Details correctly, using it to compare damage and healing breakdowns after making talent swaps, or checking proc rates and buff up times to see if a specific trinket or enchant is worth it. Honestly, there's a lot more you can do with details than most players realize, which is why we're going to place it on the A tier. Trophy GCD is another relatively lightweight add-on with one very practical use. All this add-on does is display the last few globals you have pressed, and you've probably seen this already on popular streams. The irony is that GCD trackers aren't particularly useful for real-time combat. Instead, these types of add-ons are most useful for doing any sort of VOD review, since it makes it much clearer what buttons you're pressing. If you're already using Details, you don't even need Trophy, since Details has a built-in GCD tracker itself. So it's not really needed, but can be practical to improve gameplay outside of combat. Trophy GCD will be going in the C tier. Advanced Interface Options might be the most unusual add-on on this list, but it's extremely helpful. Over the years, the Blizzard interface options have gotten worse and worse for no good reason whatsoever. Advanced interface options simply makes it easier to configure some of the hidden game settings, including the ability to edit every saved variable in the game, which is conveniently something we do for you with the skill capped add-on itself. Anyway, since it's definitely helpful but not game-changing, advanced interface options will go in the C tier too. Now that we've gone through every add-on, it's time to crown the best of the best. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Weak Auras is our champion. Weak Auras is the chat GPT of WoW PvP. It can pretty much do everything, and it has infinite potential to level up your gameplay. The absolute worst add-on is so bad that we didn't even include it on our tier list. If there's just one add-on we suggest moving to the trash can immediately, it would be any rotation helper. On paper, these add-ons might seem really useful, so why aren't they being used by serious PvPers? One big reason is that they require you to pay attention to a small box somewhere on your screen, which means taking attention away from everything else. Because of this, if we had to give them a rank, it would actually be F tier. Rotation helpers are kind of like training wheels, and you're better off just practicing your damage over and over on a target dummy in order to build muscle memory, which actually allows you to focus on everything else that actually matters in Arena, truly allowing you to climb. That obviously requires you to know your rotation first, which is a huge obstacle for many players. What we know from real Arena data is that doing more damage or healing is directly correlated to rating gains. If you are serious about ranking up this season, we worked with some of the highest rated players in PvP, including players like Bikmex, Swapsy, and Lontar, to develop brand new courses at skillcap.com. Each course includes everything you need to top the meters and deal rank 1 level damage. For every expansion over the last 15 years, we've helped players gain ratings stupidly fast. And now, with member-exclusive add-on profiles, you can install the best UI in WoW PvP to see immediate improvements in your gameplay. Everything we offer is backed up by a rank-up guarantee. If you don't gain at least 400 rating while using our service, you'll get a full refund, no questions asked. So, if you want to get started, be sure to visit the links below for an exclusive discount offer. For now, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.